Hey guys, this is Malkut, and I'm going to be showing everybody how to uh, set up CG Miner for your pool, more or less. Um, first of all, I guess, um, let's go and start off by picking a pool. I am personally using lightbonk.com, and uh, this video is actually going to be going into their forum. Um, really good site. Uh, once you go to the site, of course, just register on it. It's, the registry is more or less the same across anyone. Um, you're going to go to Getting Started. And you're going to go to CG Miner and be sure to get the Windows one if you're using Windows. Uh, I am personally using Windows. So. Go to CG Miner. It will give you a list of all the versions that have been made beforehand. Um, I'm using 3.1. There is a 3.11 up um, out now. If you want to use the latest one, you can. If not, you can always go back to 3.1 like I am. Um, once you set it to download... You know, drop a nice little zip file into your downloads folder. Just open the zip file and before you do anything else, be sure to go to your account and find <coughs> your workers. And I, I know what you're thinking, there's a lot of passwords and everything and that's fine if you want to use my workers, um, you can. Just know that you'll be making uh, money for me more or less. So, feel free to. Um, after you've got your your worker set up. Go ahead and shrink this real quick. Shrink that. Now I have my light miner folder separated. I have it in my computer, then C drive, and then I have a light miner folder where I have all the software. Um, go ahead and extract the C miner or the C G miner straight into that folder. You don't have to do anything to it, it'll extract all the files that it needs straight in here. Now I was using um, CG, uh, CG Miner Conference, but for some weird reason it wasn't working for my system. So I went ahead and went a different route and created a bat file, which uh, I'll show you what a bat file is here in a moment. Uh, the first thing you want to do, and this is actually a very common mistake, is hit Alt, go to Tools, Folder Options. Go to view and then make sure that height extensions for known file types is not checked if it's checked then you won't be able to create a, uh, a conference file or a bat file you'll be um, more or less stuck on a notepad um, another thing that I do recommend is of course going through the readme dialog if you go down to the bottom there's actually a um, series of commands that you'll be able to input um, you can read up as to what command does what what you need to put in and keep track of your GPU and your CPU um, not only the fan speeds the heat and everything make sure that your system doesn't fry over uh, but yeah always read up on the readme files I know it can seem annoying but do it it's it's very helpful all right let's go ahead and go back to where we extracted the CG miner 3.1 you know, right click and go to create a file, go to new, go to text document, and the text document doesn't really matter what you name it, you can name it three, I've got them uh, in numerical order, so we'll hit three, enter, and it'll be a text file, hit enter again, it'll be a notepad, in notepad hit cg minor dot exe minus zero stratum plus tcp more brackets uh, pool well basically just put in the uh, the address that you're going to be using like I said I'm using lightbonk.com so it's stratum plus tcp uh, forward slash forward slash pool dot lightbonk.com uh, separate the ports for this one it is actually port 3333 hit minus u and that's going to put in the username for your workers not for your login do not use your login information for the site use the login information for your worker and if remember we go back and this one was mine like i said if you guys want to use it to to build me up some stuff feel free to um or you can just send me some bitcoins so we'll, we'll get to that later uh minus p is for password again you can I guess steal my password and username if you want. Just know that you're building me money. Set the intensity to 8. And like I said, this is just to set up the general uh, get-go. It 
no modifications to it. Uh, now before you actually save the file, go to save as. And to save as, make sure that you're saving the file to where you uh, you have your CG Miner um, program. Where all the CG Miner files are, drop that file in there. I'm going to rename mine 3.bat as in bat. B-A-T. You hit save. Now if you go back over, you look over here, you can get rid of the uh, the text file. The text file doesn't matter, it's, it's more or less junk. Uh, the bat file is right here, it's now created. You can always go back and edit it later, just right click, hit edit. It still has all the same information that it did before. Now let's go back to this real quick. Now I just wanted to set this up real quick, um, just because I have it set up at a, at a really low setting right now so that I can show everybody what it looks like when it's running and it's actually accepting things. Um, if you look right here, intensity, set the eight, low intensity, getting blocks accepted. Of course the hash rate is uh, really, really low, um, but that's only because I am actually recording at the same time. I don't want to try and throw my system out of whack and fry it out real quick. Um, but yeah, this is what it looks like once it's set up and it's running. You should be getting accepted shares. Uh, rejects are, well, you can't really do too much about the rejects, but there's one in every country. <laughs> Let's see here. Uh, that's really about it. Let me see if I can actually shut this down and restart it and see if maybe it'll, um, it'll hit off the bat. But as long as you followed everything that I just showed you, um, it should work for you. Oh, I'm not trying to rename it. It, it should work for you. Like I said, you hit enter started CG Miner 3.1 and there it is it's uh, probing away now started CG Miner 3.1 probing at in the live pool network difficulty set to 596 um, and the hash rate's a little bit different on this one again my hash rate is just fluctuating all over the place because I'm recording at the same time um, Yours shouldn't fluctuate from 8 to 100 or anything like that. Um, yours should, I guess, stay at a normal pace, depending on, of course, what kind of graphics card you have. Um, I will go over the display settings, uh, GPU management, and the pool management options later. Um, but that's really about it for getting it set up. Like I said, if you follow the basics, everything right there should be good for you uh, the only other thing I can think of is again uh, ports if you're using different ports you you might have to fiddle with that or ask on a forum um, but yeah that's really about it guys if this helped you out of course uh, check out the link at the bottom and feel free to donate anything uh, whether it be 0 .001 or 0 .01 of a Bitcoin or you know, 0 0.01 of a Litecoin, it, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Anything is appreciated. Uh, well, that's really...